Today I'm going to be installing a new touchscreen Bluetooth head unit into my 2005 Corolla XRS. So the unit I'm installing is this Boss BV900 ACP. I have never used any Boss products before, so I'm interested to see how this goes. So this unit is Apple CarPlay compatible and Android Auto compatible, as well as Bluetooth, obviously. Versus the Pioneer and the Blue Corolla, is only Apple CarPlay. This unit also is pretty cool because it can play DVDs. So in order to actually play DVD, I have to hook up a power source to the parking brake wire, uh, which will just be the parking brake. So that way I can pull the parking brake up and then it'll allow DVDs to be played. And then when I put the parking brake down, it will no longer allow it because I'm driving and you shouldn't watch DVDs when you drive. This unit also has something that none of my others do, which is a remote. If I stand outside of the car, I can just skip through songs and turn up the volume and stuff like that, which is really interesting. So I'm really looking forward to installing this unit. So let's go ahead and get it all wired up. So let's go ahead and take stuff apart now. So there's four 10 millimeter bolts back here. One here, one here, another one here, and another one here. So we take these four out and then the whole thing should just pop out. When you take these out, try not to drop them as well because otherwise it's kind of a pain to get them out again. That's the head unit out, easy as that. New mounting hardware is included, but I'm just gonna reuse the old stuff because I like it better. This is metal as opposed to plastic, but you can decide, you can either reuse the mounting brackets or you can use the new ones that come with the, the dash kit. Doesn't really matter, I just prefer these. So I actually scratched that idea. The screws look like they don't wanna come out, which is fine, I'll just use the ones in the dash kit. So right now I'm just gonna set up the parking brake wiring. I'm not gonna connect it just yet because I'm gonna put the head unit in and then run this wire under. So I'm gonna connect this wire here to just this uh, standard 18 gauge wire and then run this down to the parking brake and then connect it. So this particular unit has these like two screws up here. I don't know what these are for. Maybe to hold the disc player in place or something. And there's two. I don't know why they have that installed in there, but okay. So on the head unit here, they've got microphone input right here. So now I'll just plug the microphone in like that. Rear camera and front camera, don't have those. 
Oh, very cool. It's got two of these uh, USB. So this is for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then this is just standard charger. So very cool. So I'm going to route this into the glove box, and I'm going to have the Apple CarPlay one replace the cigarette lighter, and I have an adapter for it. So that's out. Now the new one, I don't know if this is actually going to be the exact size, but I guess we're about to find out. Okay, so as you can see, it goes through. It's not really the right size. So I'm probably going to custom make something uh, to try and make this fit nicely. Okay, now it's mountable. We can go ahead and install it in place. Okay, and then this is for the antenna. It's the antenna in place now. Now everything just kind of slides in. Next part's slightly tricky. You have to reinstall these four screws without dropping them. Uh, that's the trick right there, is if you drop them, you're in trouble. Okay, there's one. That's two. There we go, three and four. Do a quick turn. One, two, three, four. Now I have the battery plugged back in, so I'm going to just real quick turn on to accessory mode. It looks like it turns on. There it is. I still have the plastic covering over it. it has a pretty nice boot up screen. And there we go, it's all working. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn it off. Now that I know this is working, this is the second part of the dash kit, which is just this little surround. Makes it nice and clean. Okay, so minor problem, which I wasn't expecting. This head unit's actually a little bit too big for this surround. So I'm gonna have to cut this so it'll fit. So for now, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just pop this back out and then install it without the surround. Ah, yeah, it's a little bit too big. So I thought about it a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do now is probably undo the mounting brackets and then see if I can push the mounts out a little bit further so it pushes the screen in a little bit more and then put this surround on and see if it'll fit. It is getting a little dark, so I'm gonna do this part and then when it gets light again tomorrow, I'll put the rest of the car back together and do the parking brake wiring and then finish it up. So I still have a little bit of light left. Uh, I was able to trim the mounting bracket. This is trimmed about half an inch, maybe? Something like that. So this is just the remaining piece of it. And it pushed the head unit back far enough to where I could get this all mounted up because this overlaps the very outside of the head unit. But I'm still able to access everything I need. Uh, the touch screen is all good. I can still access these side buttons here. So I'm still pretty set and I still have a little bit of daylight left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug everything in. So that's all this back together. If you look at the car like this, it looks like it's finished uh, until you look down. Tomorrow I'm gonna connect this parking brake wire. I'm gonna mount the USB and I'm gonna route the microphone. But it's a tad dark now, so I'll continue tomorrow. Day two, let's get this install done. So one thing that I'm going to try is using these 3M, I don't know what these are. Um, so like, they're like Velcro, but they're like not Velcro. I originally bought these to use on my toll road transponder. I know these are pretty strong, so I'm going to, I'm just going to try something here. 
I'm going to use these Velcro pieces, stick them on the outside of this um, surround piece, and then I'm going to stick some on the back here and see if I can make them stick. I don't know if this is going to work, so I guess we'll just give it a shot. So after some cutting and sticking, this is what it looks like on the back. It's a little, it looks a little ridiculous, but it's actually on there pretty decent. I don't know how long this is going to hold up, especially when the weather becomes colder. It's a little off-centered. That's going to bother me a little bit, but I'm not sure how long it's going to last anyway, so I'll leave it like this for now, and then in the meantime, it'll work. And the head unit is fully installed. I tested Apple CarPlay just now after I've hooked up the USB. It's working well, which is good. Here is what the finished product looks like. I haven't tested DVD because I don't actually have any DVDs with me. So I'll probably try that sometime in the future. But for now, everything looks like it's working there. Microphone is mounted up here in this like pretty nice spot uh, on, the, on the windshield. I'll probably fix in the future because this is going to annoy me a lot. It is not, it's not centered. It's gonna, I'm telling you, it's really gonna get on my nerves. So I will fix this at some point and probably find a more permanent solution than 3M plastic Velcro. But for now, it'll do the job. Now I would show some kind of audio comparison because this will allow the speakers to sound better. I can fine tune stuff, but my front speakers are blown. They've been blown since I got the car. So in the next video, I'm gonna be installing a new set of door speakers and tweeters to fix that problem. Here's one last look at the head unit right there. Super, super nice. I really like this. I'll have links to everything I order in the description below. I bought everything through Crutchfield, not sponsored. I just really like them. So I'll leave their links in the description down below if you wanna go pick up any of this stuff for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you all when we install new speakers. Goodbye.